A painting based on the mysterious island? The host is Isolde? The opera singer? Oh, poor thing. Every member of that family met a tragic end. And now her brother. Shh. Theophil has left us. Behold, my late brother's final painting, inspired by the Golden Isle. The Salvation. Miss Dittersdorf, I know your brother's death has affected you deeply. Doctor. You need to release your oppressions. The rain. The Golden Isle. The island of the painting. Is that where the Timekeeper is at now? How did Teofil know about the storm and the island? He belonged to an organization called The Circle. It's the symbol of The Circle. Are they really just a group of artists? What do you see in the mirror? I see golden circles. Teofil. In the fire, he... he burned all his paintings. And then... I heard a shot. All these assassinations... at the same time? Will our people be able to defend themselves on that island? To help them is to help ourselves. I can see how you burned with passion. Welcome to the circle, Miss Marcus. We share the same dream as you. I am intrigued by the name of your little group, The Circle. Even if the world ends tomorrow, we still have a show to watch. Please, enjoy! Hey, you! Yes, you, my hurry child. You rush through the street like a cyclone. Where are you going? A show! A show! So you came to Vienna for the love of stories, that's for sure. Then this is just the right place for you. A place where the floors are decorated with gold, where music sings along with the stories. Even a newcomer could be entranced here. Oh, <laughs> listen to me. You must not be a newcomer, but a true connoisseur. Well... Before you leave, may I ask a simple question? Which act in a show do you prefer? Ah, oh, well begun is half done. You're always right to the point. We should know how a story starts and when we have stepped onto the path of fate. Do you know which act I love the most? Not act one, nor three, or five. But six. Oh, act six, my dear. That's the best part. The part in which the king picks up his fallen head. The knight pulls out the sword in his chest. The bodies stand up, dust their clothes, and come to the front of the stage, bow to the audience, and receive their applause. Yes, it is. My child, that is precisely when the real show begins. I have a good script here. Let me put on my glasses. Mm. Ah. Let's start from... from Act Six. The princess, a nightingale decorated with diamonds, an opera singer taking center stage steps into a building of gray and white diamond patterns. And the curtain falls forever. The smile on her face seems too serene. She is still dreaming. Her madness keeps them on alert. But in the court, she seems so meek and mentally steady. 
like a docked boat on calm waters. Nodding elegantly to every gentleman she meets, she makes the shackle on her neck look like a piece of dazzling jewelry. Next page. Oh. In a transparent room under an unyielding limelight, her dignity is stomped on, like a silk handkerchief thrown on the ground. They smash her crown, forcing her to pay for her madness. No, not anymore. Sleep, she said to me. Sleep. If that's what she said, then I don't need to wake up. That's when the star falls into an everlasting dream. The blinding light becoming a spotlight on the stage. The empty room carrying the best reverberations. She has never been so calm. Everything beautiful in her is there forever. Frozen in time. Or found eternal peace. Her world has become the performance. A show that never ends. I'd say she's a great actress. Isn't she? <laughs> My dear. You are indeed a great connoisseur. Only one act of a play can't tell a good story by itself. Oh, forgive my ramblings. The golden curtain has risen. Fix your collar, darling. And keep moving forward. Meine Damen und Herren, willkommen! On behalf of the General Medical Association of Vienna, I would like to thank you all for attending this demonstration conference. It is a great honor. As we can see, dear friends, the era of science has arrived. The era of man has arrived. Today, we will share the honor of witnessing the advancement of technology, its contributions to medical science, and even the world. Now, please allow me to introduce the patient again, Miss Isolde von Dietersdorf. This lady has selflessly volunteered for the experiment, and in return, will receive a healthy mind in no time. She's been living a miserable life due to hysteria. How terrible it is for a young woman like her. As we all know, mental illness is taking an increasing toll on our country. Even suicide has become more rampant. The tragedies are piling up, and our dear lady is in excruciating pain as we speak. Thanks to the development of medical science, we can again be rescued from the abyss of pain. As I said before, the electroshock therapy uses the most advanced technology available. The medical use of electricity dates back to the 18th century. Isolde? The youngest daughter of the Dietersdorfs? Oh no wonder she volunteered. The treatment should do wonders for her. You know there's something wrong with that family? I heard her mother stabbed old Dietersdorf in the temple with a brass needle and killed every maid in the room. That things even made it into the Curio market? I heard not even the Lord's water could clean the blood off it. The family seems to be cursed. So far, no one's ever lived past the age of 40. In fact, the girl had a sister who died very young, and now her brother. I read in the papers that... He killed himself, right? 
Well, the artist did what an artist would do. He wrote a sad poem and then set fire to his paintings together with himself. You know what? My uncle works for the police. He showed me the autopsy report. The truth is, dear Phil shot himself. He was killed by a bullet. Gosh! Good thing he didn't have to suffer all that pain before he died. Poor boy, he was so talented and handsome. Oh, but the girl, oh, she's less fortunate. Fainted at her only brother's funeral, didn't even get to see him one last time. I hope the latest treatment will alleviate her suffering. Lunatics. The whole family is a bunch of lunatics. Manners, uh, this is Vienna where we call these poor people arcanists. I sincerely hope that Isolde can put an end to her miserable nightmare. After all, she is one of the most talented opera singers in Vienna. Just like her mother. You know what they say? Talent and hysteria go hand in hand. Think about it. They both come from the mind. Why, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> right, please? The treatment for now begin. Are you ready, Miss Dietersdorf? Y yes. <sighs> I'm ready. Please. Three, two, one. Okay. Calm down, my lady. Just hang even there, okay? The treatment will work. Perseverance is a virtue. I don't think the electroshock is causing the pain you seem to be experiencing. Don't let the imaginary fear get the better of you. Yes, so... Good. Now we'll begin stage two. The voltage will be slightly increased. Please get ready, Miss Dietersdorf. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, no, no! Stage three, an even higher voltage. Enough! Forgive the interruption, Dr. Schwartz. But I need you to stop the treatment immediately. I can't help but to question your methods, as well as the methods of the General Medical Association. Your electroshock therapy is a gross violation of humanitarian principles. Judging from what I just saw, it only brought the patient meaningless pain and didn't help her condition one bit. Unless, of course, you intend to use physical pain to distract the patient from her mental pain. Even though this is a conference meant for conversation, you're being a little rude. The new electroshock therapy is not what you know from the last century. Now that man has tamed electricity, there's no doubt that the EST is the best choice for treatment. You shouldn't take it at face value, because it's not like the underlying principles are the same as that frog experiment, huh? My treatment is supported by systemic theories and reliable references, and it is approved and sponsored by the General Medical Association, which means it's reasonable and legitimate. 
Well, you are, correct me if I'm wrong, a social activist known for her little arcane tricks, Miss Kakanya. Or should I say, Miss Clara? As far as I know, you don't even have a medical degree. Besides your so-called art movement. Is this secession, is it? It confuses me, really. Anyway, in order to have a more professional conversation, I suggest we talk later. You know, after you get a medical license. No, Dr. Schwartz. This conversation has nothing to do with my personal identity or experience. I'm only asking you as a citizen of Vienna and as a human being with empathy. How can you not see that she's suffering? Have you been thoroughly brainwashed by the supposed authority of medical science? Or have you two been blinded and deafened by hysteria? Oh! You rude little... Please allow me to reiterate, the EST is an advanced and reliable treatment. Besides, Ms. Dietersdorf has signed an agreement before we start it. The experiment is conducted under mutual consent. Your objection is of no use, and it is even harmful to the patient's interests. But we always welcome debate. Since you question my methods, please be my guest and indulge us with your thoughts on her condition. As I understand it, Mr. Sigmund Freud published his studies on hysteria in 1895. He believes that hysteria was a psychological disorder caused by problems in the nervous system. It was not a simple organ disease. His trauma theory explains that the patient's personal life experiences were the real cause of the disorder, affecting the patient in subtle ways. It makes much more sense to analyze the patient's traumas than to harm their body. As to whether his theory is advanced enough, you can read the totem and taboo which he published last year. What? Freud. Freud! The man who told people to marry their mothers and kill their fathers. The one who couldn't get a word in when his patient spewed insanity. It took him 17 years to become a professor, for God's sake. Miss Clara, I've tolerated your immature antics, and I always welcome advice and opinion, as long as are rational and reasonable. It's just, how could you challenge me with such an amateur theory? You insult me as a gentleman, and you insult my reputation. What? Dr. Schwartz, I did not mean to insult you. <gasps> Miss Dittersdorf, she's unconscious. How? Get her off the chair now. Are you blind, or did you hit me on purpose? Hey, hello! Do you know how to control this thing? It only drifts on my bed at night. I just sleep pregnant for a week. Just remove your brain. Problem solved. Darling Saints! I'll go ahead and think of that. Thank you for your advice. You are so great. Oh, you're so welcome, pal. I'd wipe my eyes more often if I were you. Just 
Do something to get that black snot off those lashes. The good news is, the persons in charge of this place are all dead. The bad news, the one in charge right now is not a person. Hello, Researcher Medicine Pocket. Your meal allowance is being deducted to pay for door repair. I don't care, Buckethead. Do your worst. A few pennies don't bother me. You could have called me from your lab terminal. The technology department has equipped every researcher with the latest communication device, and I have the energy to communicate with everyone. Then how am I supposed to know whether my report is lying in your trash or not? Oh please, you know we gotta talk face to face to solve our issues when things get ugly. Congrats on the one and only achievement you got from the Manus Mask. We're now fully aware of its side effects, and this great achievement is filling the halls with oil and insanity. You should thank the Hatted Cuckoo for her report. No one's turned into a crazy monster yet, or the Manus would be attacking the headquarters from Laplace right now. Damn it! What are you doing? Are you even listening to me? My apologies. You said we needed to talk face to face. If I understand it correctly, this is your number one request. You always carry a face in your pocket? That's just... great. You are welcome. It is our duty to learn and meet the needs of every researcher. This will help them reach their full potential while respecting the nature of their being. I received some letters of complaint. They asked me to develop a better sense of humor. They said it would help me understand the researcher's sarcasm, so I am studying it. 75% of the complaints mentioned they did not want to see a face on my head. Some even used strong words like, never let me see that face of yours again. I am glad that you are one of the other 25% researcher medicine pocket. You know what? I don't mind if you keep that face on, as long as you let me kick it around a bit. Regarding your second request, I have read your report. I fully understand the side effects of the mask as well as the feasibility of the decryption. Then what's the point? It's like trying to get the syrup formula out of a Coke can. Ugh! Again, we are all screwed without the original ritual from the Manus. It is too early to conclude that the mask does not contain important clues. The attempts we are making are very necessary. Besides, the situation in Laplace is not as bad as you say. The side effects are completely under control the subjects are only suffering from dehydration and mania. Fortunately, the Rehabilitation Center has extensive experience in dealing with manic patients, and some researchers, like yourself, are already manic without putting on the mask, so the side effects will not affect them much. <laughs> yes! Ball pens! Ball pens love brains! Extensive experience, huh? That is right. I am glad you have noticed our efforts. We have prepared a large amount of polymer materials in case of minor vandalism by the patients. Ha <laughs> Amusing. So this is the logic of a machine, huh? Humans are as expendable in the lab as glass. 
You should be glad that your head is harder than my teeth, or I'd... Your opinion surprises me, Researcher Medicine Pocket. There is a big difference between the human body and glass. As for the original ritual, you are not the first researcher to make this suggestion. We are fully aware of its importance. We have dispatched investigators and members of the field agent administration to investigate various regions. Here are the images they sent back. Field... what? Field Agent Administration. If you have not heard of the name before, most prefer to call them the History Guards, given their function. Right. That team of cannon fodder. The thought of people being thrown around like garbage makes me feel lucky that I'm just a piece of glass. Looks like face-to-face -face conversation does solve problems. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Aside from the insane colleagues running amok. Let me guess. The blue dots are good news, huh? Correct. They represent the safe areas immune to the storm. Ah, uh, North America. I should have gone there for a walk in the park. I don't deserve to suffer in this stupid gray prison. I have to say, Researcher Medicine Pocket, even though I approved your request for a sports field, which you claimed was a humanitarian need, I think it is more of a canine need. I suggest you install an indicator on your humor module so we know when to laugh. See? Like this blinking red dot. Hmm. Is that Vienna? Yes. All right, all right! Not privy to the information, huh? I know of your tricks. One day I will find the logical fallacies in your words, I swear! And this here... Yellow. Better than the worst, worse than the best. That's the agency. What's all the fuss about? Don't tell me there's a 500 meter long blue crab. No. No sightings of large marine organisms other than the Gorgon. This is where Timekeeper and her team are right now. By the way, it seems you can distinguish between colors precisely. So the canine elements in you are more of a personal choice than an innate trait. I see your efforts on improving your sense of humor, I do, but that's enough now. Turn off the module, okay? Who the heck put these complaints in the box? I'm gonna kick their teeth out. Back to business. Timekeeper and her team are in a bit of a situation. The details are classified, and I am not privy to them either. Huh. Classified. I know what's going on. In this place, classified means... They're in big trouble. What are they? Hope did not tell us about these things. Get away from me, you arcane fiends! Marcus? Marcus? Uh. I'm sorry, Madam Hoffman. I was reading the newspaper. I know I told you to practice your arcane skills more, but you don't have to do it all the time. I just told you the oath to secrecy for this mission. Level 2 Investigator Marcus, repeat it to me. Remember the field mission manual? Never disclose any information about the storm or the era to irrelevant people. Never build unnecessary connections with the current era. Never disclose any real information about the headquarters to members of the branch. 
Never discuss confidential matters in unrelated settings. Never contact or interfere with the insignificant. Stay out of their lives, silently observe and respect their lives. And why is the stupid train never on time? Did I really say that? Yes, in a low voice, after the last random stop. You have a talent for multitasking, I'll give you that. But the point is, as a rookie investigator, your focus should really be on the mission. Y yes, Madam Hoffman, I'm so sorry. Laplace has analyzed the information from the field agent squad and suggested several critical points on where the storm may arrive. One of them is Vienna. The history guards have reported sightings of menace leaders there. Considering they will probably do the same thing they did in 1929, you know, escalate the international conflicts to accelerate the reverse, this mission is probably quite risky. It's okay, Madam Hoffman. I am fully prepared. I've been waiting for my first field mission since I joined the Foundation. Thank you for approving my application, or I'd still be talking to rusty filing cabinets and diamond patterns on a wall. No need to thank me, Investigator Marcus. Your application has been approved by Headquarters, as your arcane skills will prove very useful on this mission. This time we will track down Manus Vindicte in Vienna, and gather intelligence on the rituals. The intelligence should help with the storm immunity research making it the top priority of all other missions. That's why I said your arcane skill reading will be useful on this mission. Y yes understood I know how lucky you must feel for returning to your era after being isolated from the outside world for so long. I will take you to Romania and visit the orphanage where you used to live. If we still have time for that after the mission. I'll do my best, Madam Hoffman. Whatever you need, as long as my arcane skill can do it. By the way, how's the timekeeper doing on Agent Island? Marcus, have you already forgotten what I just told you? This is a confidential matter. But... it's in the news. Unknown Island appears on the agency. Forces attacked by arcane creatures. Ownership over island causing conflicts between Bulgaria, Serbia, and Greece. Austro-Hungarian Empire and Russian Empire to establish a negotiating committee. Madam Hoffman, the increased turmoil could cause the storm to arrive earlier, right? That is not our problem. The headquarters will send someone to intervene since it is caused by the Arcanum. Now. Just focus on our destination, Vienna. Time to get out. Grab your luggage. Treasure of Austria. The creamy chocolate cake, the buttery ganache, and the delicious apricot jam. Created by the ingenious apprentice Franz Sacker in 1832, renowned throughout the world. The dessert of Vienna. Sacker taught. My first time seeing a real one. How should I cut it? If I cut straight, the cake will get mushy. If I cut sideways, I'll miss out on the apricot filling. What if I eat it in one bite? No, no, how unrefined. The director would scold me for that. I have to think carefully. There must be some other way. Remember all your training, Investigator Marcus. This is the most important moment of your life. Don't get too excited, or you'll ruin it. Who 
呢？According to the plan, the head of the Vienna branch would pick us up and guide us through the necessary procedures of this era. But our train was two hours late. That being the case, our Mr. Carl should have been waiting for two hours, but so far there is no sign of any gentleman in the Foundation's uniform. So Mr. Carl is also more than two hours late. A clever deduction. Let us hope otherwise. I'll go check if he got here before us. I bet that island is a secret base of the Dulantant. That's why the Bulgarians are so anxious. They're worried about their exit on the Aegean Sea. A friend of mine is in the Navy. He saw a ship leaving the harbor loaded with gold. Four is coming, friend. No, no! How does that explain the arcane creatures over there? I'd say it's never been discovered before. Like the Celtic Otherworld. You know, the heavenly land beyond the sea in Bran's legend. The Arcanum has declined after the Enlightenment. It is an honor for all of us in this era to find such a paradise from the past. You're not fit to be human if you don't understand what that island means to us, my friend. Secret base. Other world. Fascinating. I need to write this down. Miss, could you show me your papers, please? Ah, right. I'm sorry, my friend has it. Could you hold on a minute? I am an arcanist sent from the headquarters of the St. Pavla Foundation. I have a letter of introduction from the head of the Vienna branch. Arcanist? Then you come with us, miss. Hands up and be quiet. Bring over the golems! We have an unregistered arcanist! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sir? Please listen to me! Let her get away! What is happening? At ease, gents. Allow me to explain. This respectable lady is most definitely not a Russian spy. This lady with the big case is your... assistant? No spy would be stupid enough to carry an entire case of papers in public. So will we all, gentlemen.
The gentlemen in Vienna have become exceedingly sensitive after the infamous espionage cases of 1913. And their pride was almost destroyed by the Reddle case. The man was even head of counterintelligence and had a sexual orientation not tolerated in his time. Well, I'm not sure which of the reasons hurt them more. Sorry, Marcus. I should have told you that, as your supervisor. Mm hmm. Hmm. The belief that Arcanus cannot cast arcane skills without the ability to speak. So old and superstitious. Like muzzling a dog when it gets out of control. Can we dispel it now, Mr. Carl? I have to remind you, Miss Hoffman, that theoretically we have to go through an entire approval process before I authorize the dispelling of the mute spell. But whatever, who cares? They shouldn't have treated a young lady like that for whatever reason. Relax. This was just a minor incident. You'll never find another place as tolerant as Vienna. It's the very same principles the Foundation strives for. All registered arcanists can come and go as they please in this beautiful city. We even offer artists and musicians perks that cover every aspect of their lives, because Vienna loves art and music. Oh! Speaking of registered arcanists, could you show me her arcanum license? Arcanum license? Yes, ladies from the headquarters. Even so, I'm more than willing to skip some unnecessary procedures for you. We still have to be careful about security, you know, especially when dealing with arcanists. I don't think the headquarters issues such a license. No one told us to apply for one. Oh, there must be some mistake. All arcanists entering Europe must possess an arcanum license issued by the local government. Austria enacted this policy in 1756. We abolished it in 1868, but we're in the time of great tension, so... You know... Perhaps this lady knows something, Miss Marcus? Yes? You are an arcanist, even though you're sent by the headquarters, correct? Show to me then, your arcanum license. Marcus is my assistant on this mission, Mr. Carl. She is not to answer your questions directly given her rank and status. It is me, the one in charge, that you should turn to, not my assistant. Oh, lady from headquarters, don't get me wrong. I didn't mean to usurp your authority. It's not an issue. You didn't have to... Uh, I have a... Here. Oh. Hmm? Um, is everything okay, Mr. Carl? Is it not acceptable? Oh, yes, it's a perfectly good license. I can even smell the ink from the government office. <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, Miss Arcanist from Romania. You should have shown it to me sooner. It would have saved us a lot of trouble. Um, I'm so sorry to have wasted your time. Speaking of which, 
No offense, but you are two hours and fifteen minutes late, Mr. Carl. My apologies. The Minister of Finance and I had a little too much at lunch. Well, your train was late too, wasn't it? You were having lunch when you were supposed to be here. We agreed. Relax, lady from the headquarters. You're just not used to this pace around here. Look at this industrialization and so-called modern designs. They have turned our beloved city and our carefree life into a cold, impersonal machine. Please forgive the train staff, the sewer workers, and the plumbers. It is their right to be a little unpunctual, and enforcing this right is a symbol of our free will. In the end, you didn't wait too long, and I got to enjoy my lunch. It all worked out, right? So, why was your train late? It crashed into a deer. A deer with free will. <coughs> Tragic. All right, forgive this old Carl for his minor mistake, ladies. The rumors about the Golden Isle had kept the branch busy. There was no one else but me to pick you up. It wouldn't have been so embarrassing if headquarters had sent us manpower instead of taking it from us. I am also on the job, Mr. Carl. Should I include your complaints in the report? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's okay. It's just a group of lunatics banished to an island. They're arcane criminals from a small country, and people will forget about them in less than a month. Only a few would believe that it has any real influence on Vienna. You know, the young artists who think highly of themselves, the schemers with evil plans, and the conspiracy theorists suffering from neurasthenia. The Magars and the Bohemians are already giving us a headache. Arcanists, they are not at all the Empire's top ethnic concern. But aren't you in charge of the registration and management of Arcanists? Well, first of all, isn't my loyalty to His Majesty and the Empire? Before you use the title Head of the Vienna Branch to define me, I am first and foremost an honored citizen of Vienna, and I serve our great Emperor, Lady. And I thought you said this was a tolerant city. Oh, yes. We are responsible for dealing with the problems caused by the Arcanists, just as we deal with the Megars and the Bohemians. All right. That's the venerable Vienna branch of the St. Pavlov Foundation over there. Let's go. Mr. Call is... Very different from the staff of the headquarters. In fact, most of the time the branch members aren't comrades who share the same goals with us. They're more like local officials we have to deal with. We need them as a buffer between the Foundation and the local governments. They can help us maintain peace in the human world. But you can't ask too much of them. Not all of them are cosmopolitans. Most of them put their emperor and their country first. That's why we shouldn't disclose classified information to them. Does it still hurt? Huh? Oh, it feels much better now. Good. Marcus. Did you already have that license before you joined the Foundation? Yes. Austria abolished that policy in 1868, but Romania did not until 1913. I carried it with me out of habit. Thank goodness I did. 
This is indeed the era I'm from. That time has returned. Never disclose any information about the storm or the era to irrelevant people. Put away a license. We need to catch up with Carl. Remember my words, Marcus. Never trust anyone, even if they're a branch member of the Foundation. So this is the Vienna branch? It's splendid. Look at the walls, simple yet elegant. It's like a temple of modern art. Hmm, I can read the contrast between different shapes and textures. This Mr. Ulrich must have put so much effort into the design. It must be a very pleasant place to work at, Mr. Call. Oh, no. This is a secession building. Another meeting place for the young artists to show off, other than the cafes. They said they wanted to break away from traditional art. Well, it's more like they're breaking away from human life. There's nothing to like here. Only inexplicable paintings and neurasthenic lunatics. But people keep coming back. There are even secession groups to the secession! Like cells dividing through mitosis. The entrance to our venerable branch is on the left. Please follow me. Notice the guard? It's the most loyal and reliable knight of Vienna. Powered entirely by arcane ritual. The greatest achievement since the revival of Arcanum in Europe. In 1662, a royal magician from London offered it to the Emperor at the time. Since then, it's guarded the Empire for centuries. Ah, sir! Hmm? Greetings, dear Saskapia. How is your son, Tamino? I hear he's not getting along well with his fiance. He's a strange one. What's he doing standing in the corner like that? My apologies, Miss Hoffman. Please hold on. Terrific, Heinrich! Just as terrific as your pathetic art career! That's great! Best wishes to you, Saskapia. Oh, my apologies. Greetings to you, Angelotti. And unknown lady. See, he is one of those crazy artists. Everyone knows that I only have this beautiful daughter of mine. This moustacheless gentleman went to study in Berlin and has just returned. I guess he didn't learn much in class, and now he's throwing himself into opera. He must have listened to Wagner and Mozart so much it damaged his central nervous system. So that's why he sees everyone as a character in an opera. Operas and music, they do harm to your eyes and fill your ears with... Useless sounds. Is every artist like this? Hmm, Scarpia, Angelotti. They are indeed characters from the opera Tosca. Oops! I am getting off topic. Don't worry. We've modified its original ritual to meet the needs here. Lots of people come in and out, after all. You just need to knock on the armor three times, touch a mustache, and it will let you in. Ha! I forgot!
forgot you have no moustaches, my dear ladies. But you do have arcane skills, right? First of all, I am not an arcanist. Second, I am not as humorous as you think. Fine! But that was no joke, as this thing only accepts moustaches. It's a symbol that every gentleman should have. And not everyone's like Heinrich. Just give me the list of arcanists we mentioned in the letter, Mr. Karl. We don't need to go into the branch. Oh, no. Do you really want to miss the scenery of the Danau? As a site of the modern transport system? There's no better way to tour the ring roads than by carriage. And we've booked a room for you at the Saka Hotel. By the way, have you tried the treasure of Austria? Thank you. We already had it while you were enjoying your lunch. Now, please, give us the list. And I'm sure you've received a telegram from the headquarters. You are to investigate the people around Theophil von Dittersdorf. Okay, all right. It's a pity, lady from the headquarters. Here you are. And that's all of it. All of it. Oh, and this. Two tickets to the Vienna Royal Orchestra. Please give them to Mr. Riha, and when you see him, send my sincerest regards. I will. Hmm. Who's Mr. Rickard? The contact between the Foundation and the Vienna branch in 1914. A phantom of history. At that time, people still believed the golden age that had begun with the last generation would continue as it should, and that their positions in government would be as unshakable as the long-standing empire. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It won't let me in. You're not joking, are you, Mr. Carl? I am not! Darn! What is going on? Is this isn't broken! Oh, no, I'm stuck! Oh, my belly! Oh, I had the suit custom made in Paris! Mm. What is going on? Why is the defense system activated? <sighs> Marcus, can you read its internal rituals? Hmm, considering its sluggishness, yes, I think so. Good. It's a good chance for you to get some experience. Just stay safe. Oh no! Miss Hoffman! These columns represent the spirit of the Vienna branch! You shouldn't be so violent! Adapt, improve, and advance. Arcanum should be kept up with the times, not lock itself away in a museum and wallow in the good old days. There was something visibly wrong with this thing, and we were rightfully doing our job. If you have any concerns about this, I'll include them in the report. And I should remind you that you've spent too much time on your free will. We're running out of time. Nein! Nein! Procedures are not the problem, darn it! You're not German, are you? So, what's wrong with the Golem? Hmm... As Mr. Carl said, its structure is simple and yet incredible. 
The malfunction comes from one of the components. There's an extra stroke on the enchantment. These strokes look new. I guess the staff made a mistake when they did the maintenance or repair. Let's hope so. Now take a look at this before Mr. Carl comes out. Several days ago, a member of the field agent squad found a painting that was reported in this magazine, The Pan. It belonged to Teofil von Dittersdorf, a deceased artist from Vienna who committed suicide. Its name is De Salvation, and it was found along with a poem. The poem mentions the doomsday, the reversal of time, and the rain. Salvation and rain. It sounds so... Yes. And given the sightings of Manus leaders in Vienna, we believe Theophil came into contact with Manus leaders before he died, and probably learned the truth of the storm and the method of salvation. This was how Manus Bindicte recruited Arcanists in 1929. Hmm. If he knew the method of salvation, why did he still kill himself? Auf der Suche nach Silenus im Walde fragte ich ihn, was ist das Beste? Unwunderbarste für den Mensch. Die Rede, wo der Mensch nie geboren wurde, sagte er. Ich betrachtete ihn, den Ring des Lebens, den Ring aller Leben. Deine Hände formen den Ring und das Urteil wird ausgesprochen. Am jüngsten Tag, in der Dämmerung, wenn die Geschichte verblasst. O oh Welt! Sein Kopf beißt sich in seine Füße. Seine Knie berühren seine Nase. O oh Mensch! Sie bewohnen die Erde und warten darauf, dass der Himmel fällt. Gestern wird zu morgen. Morgen verwandelt sich wieder in gestern. Wer wird im Regen verschwinden? Wem wird das ewige Glück gewährt, die Gnade von oben? Und diese Lehre, das Aufhören der Existenz? Oh, that was so moving, Miss Sieglind. Poor Sigmund, my best friend, has returned to the void. Thank you all for coming today to shed tears for our departed hero. He was a righteous and noble man who cared for his people. He was still trying to save the Arcanists on the Golden Isle before he died. He left us so many beautiful poems and paintings. Shame that the fire burnt everything to ashes. The only thing that survived was the salvation. We were in a golden age of progressive ideas. We believed the Enlightenment would make ignorance history and lead us to paradise where everyone would be saved. The barrier between Arcanists and humans would be removed. In Vienna, that tolerant city, we would stand together hand in hand, back to back, reliving the intimacy we once shared when we first came into this world. Oh, world. Its head bites its feet. Its knees touch its nose. But the reality is the survival space of Arcanists is shrinking. We tried to speak up in our own language, but that only makes us strangers in our own land. That's why we have decided to exhibit Sigmund's last work. Not only in memory of the deceased, but in memory of his noble spirit, his sincere concern for his people and his scrutiny of this tragic world. There is no need to be sad, my friends. He has left us with the Rheingold. 
We will found a committee with the funds raised by the exhibition to improve the conditions of unregistered arcanists. The youngest and the most outstanding opera singer in Vienna, Theophil's sister, Isolt von Dietersdorf, will present the details. were ordered to investigate Theophil's connections. There may be spies for Manus Vindicte among them. I know the Vienna branch has a lot of bureaucratic problems, but we need the help to carry out the mission in this era. The search warrant, the letter of introduction, the evidence collection permit, They've provided us with all the official documents we need in this era, as well as a list of all the arcanists in Vienna in 1914. But we're not going to cooperate with them any further, because of the requirements to confidentiality. We'll only need manpower from them in the following operations. In case you spend a whole day on the A section, Marcus, we're looking for Teofil. Starts with a T. Uh, uh, how did you know I was starting from line A? It says Teofil belonged to a group of artists called The Circle. They often gathered in the secession building. Madame Hoffman, I think we can make contact with them one by one. <gasps> What's happening? Uh, I sense strong arcane fluctuations over there! I think it's... it's a... Ghost? Isolt? Isolt! My god! She passed out again! She must have smelling salts on her. Find them! What is going on? Make way! Make way! Let me see. Kania! People, make way for the doctor! Is old? Can you hear me? Oh no, it's a seizure. She's going to bite herself. Get a stick! Heinrich, do you have any props she can bite? Doctor! Help! Please help me! They are here! The paintings, they are here! She can't wait. Isolde, open your mouth. <laughs> Doctor, your hand is bleeding from the bite. It's okay. What happened just now? She was fine when I left ten minutes ago. I don't know. We finished reciting Sigmund's poem and... Sigmund? Oh, you mean Teofil? I see what's going on here. You've aroused her trauma. You shouldn't have invited her to her brother's exhibition, Hanyek. And you even read his death notice in public. Ah, oh, you should have known it would upset her. He was the only family she had left. I did not. I thought she had completely recovered. What? 
She should have recovered from the electroshock therapy. What kind of nonsense is that? Dr. Schwartz is a liar without a conscience. He takes pleasure in the pain of his patients. I know how he managed to fool the medical association. Those rich morons don't care about the patients at all. Soon as you mention fancy words like advanced or science, so throw their wallets at you as if they'll be left behind by the times. They're all blinded by the shining glamour of progressivism. And they even scoff at psychoanalysis, the real meaningful discovery of the era. You will. Er ist so wunderschön. Nein, das war meine Schuld. Ja, ja, ich werde es besser machen. Ich kann es schaffen. Ich kann immer noch singen. Es ist Schau mich an, Doktor! Hilf mir! Bitte, hilf mir! I will, Isolt. Now let go of me first. Oh no. It's a seance. But Miss Tosk only does it before performance. Of course it turned out this way. She's lost control. She summoned evil spirits this time, not the good ones. of the paintings. Oh, poor girl. It's her brother's paintings. Miss Kakanya, watch out! Heinrich, give me a hand. Draw the ghosts away by whatever means. It's an honor to meet you. These souls are no longer bound to their bodies. It's a nuisance to deal with. Hey! Over there! Leave the doctor alone! I bought this bullet with my savings. Who took it out of my body? It was you! You! Enough of your ugly fuss. What family are you from, miss? How much property do you own? Wait, it's not working. You'll have to try harder, Mr. Heinrich. Leave her be, gentlemen. She took half my body. No, father will scold me. Back with the stink of a monkey. How dare you lay those filthy fingers upon me? Heinrich, I'll take care of his old. Take this. Oh, catching a ghost with my hands. Yeah, it's so soft and sticky. Give it back, you thief! Wir sind jetzt 
sicher, Isolde. Spüren Sie nun den Druck meiner Hände. Der Druck wird Sie an einige Dinge erinnern. Sie werden langsam und stetig in Ihren Kopf gelangen und Ihnen nicht schaden. Gut, das ist es. Wenn ich den Druck loslasse, öffnen Sie langsam Ihre Augen. Diese Dinge werden sanft zu Boden fallen, wie Federn. Jetzt fangen Sie sie vorsichtig auf. Jetzt sagen Sie mir, was haben Sie gesehen? Was ist passiert? Dr. Schwarz told me that humans are rational and we should be able to control ourselves completely. But I failed. The Dittersdorfs can't afford another lunatic like me. I will be abandoned by the audience. By everyone. No, you are not them, Isolde. As long as you receive proper treatment in the hospital. Please, don't, please. I'm cured. The shock therapy worked well, very well. His old. No. I mustn't act like Mother or Teofel. The Dittersdorfs can't bear. The opera can't bear. Heinrich, please take Miss Didersdorf to get some rest. I will. What about you, Doctor? Where are you going? I'm going to get that damn Schwarz! Kakanya? Hm? Huh? You are from the Foundation. And... Angelotti? And... The... Unknown Lady? <laughs> <laughs> 